What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Yinka Baby, back again with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my updated 2024 makeup routine. I don't know why I shot it like that. But, yeah, today we're going to get into uh, my makeup routine. This is all the new products that I've been loving. This is all the new techniques that I've been using. Similar to my 2020, I don't even know what year I dropped that video, but if you remember my first ever big makeup video here on YouTube, I think what did really well is the fact that I broke it down into do's and don'ts and I was really specific on the things that I do not want to see. I wasn't too harsh this time around but I was very specific on things that you should implement into your routine that will make it 10 times better. Let's take it up on us. It's 2024. We're doing big things, better things, all good things. Yeah. Business woman, I feel work it. She won't pay off her mother's bills early. Toes and nails done, hair did curly. She not tech chat. She gon' shut it down firm. Independent girl. This is the routine that you do when you have time. Okay, this is not my quick 20 minute makeup routine. This is, you know you're going out, you have at least an hour and 20 minutes to get ready. It takes me about 40 minutes, 40 minutes-ish, 40, 45 minutes. I'm not even gonna lie, sometimes 30 minutes, but that's just because I'm so used to doing it. And sometimes I do skip steps. So I'm gonna try to not skip any steps today. I want to be able to explain it from beginning to end so you completely get, I don't wanna hear any excuses. So I would say just give yourself grace, be patient with yourself, especially if you're a beginner take your time that was the number one thing in this whole video take your time and because i'm going out um and my nails are white french tip i like to use gloves when i'm doing my makeup sometimes especially if i know that i'm gonna be rushing i'm not gonna wash my hands and my shirt is white so it's best if i just use some latex gloves call me extra if you want i'm just being careful okay we're gonna start with the face mm -hmm. look so i already wiped off the makeup from today that's why I, I still have like a little bit of makeup underneath my eye right there the first most important thing is your skin your skin prep and your skincare routine is definitely included okay i myself have been struggling with some uh, is it bumps i don't know i used to have like a lot of bumps on my skin but i've been really 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 taking care of my skin this last couple of months so as you can see your color is glowing so just make sure that number one your face is clean so you cleanse your skin so that your makeup can be applied smoothly we don't want any debris interrupting this extravaganza look that we're going for and then also you want to make sure that you hydrate you moisturize all that good stuff my face is already moisturized I don't think it really matters what moisturizer I use but just make sure your face is moisturized your face is not dry um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of sunscreen even though it's dark outside I always like to apply sunscreen to my skin I'm just using the hydro boost water gel sunscreen you guys can go and use all that skin food, all that stuff. You know what to do. Just shower, make sure your face is moisturized. Last but not least, for skin prep, the last thing that you want to do is prime your face. If I know I'm not spending time outside, then I'm not going to waste my primer because primer is essentially something that you put on to extend the wear of your makeup. So you want to put on primer if you know you're going to be outside all day. So the primer that I'm using <laughs> is even almost done. It's a dupe for the Milk Hydro Care Primer, and this is the e.l.f. Um power grip primer everybody's skin prep should look different i know for myself when i did have like really open pores before i used to use a pore filler which was my maybelline um instant pore eraser but like i said a girl's been working on her skin so i don't feel like it's necessary for me to put on and don't overdo the products okay please do not overdo the products if you don't need the product if you see your favorite influencer using it that doesn't mean that it's for you so do the skin prep find out what skin prep you need based on your skin so skin prep for oily skin skin prep for normal skin skin prep for skin that likes to look perfectly fine when i leave the house but when i get on road likes to act higgy haga whatever your skin likes to do to you find the right skin prep for you. So now we're moving on to foundation. So your girl has finally, finally, finally been freed from the shackles. I'm joking. It's not a shackle because it was actually a really good product. My favorite foundation in the entire world will always be the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Tiramisu. There's nothing wrong with the shade. Let me not lie to you. There's nothing wrong with this foundation. I just have so many foundations that it's like, let me give that one a break. And right now I've been really loving the Makeup by Mario foundation. And this is in the shade 26N. I would say definitely choose a foundation that is close, as close to your skin tone as possible. But if you can't find something that's close to your skin tone, then it's okay for it to be a little bit darker. I wouldn't go for anything lighter, okay? So just, if it's darker, if it's a little darker, that's fine. If it's your shade, perfect. But don't you dare go and touch that lighter bottle, okay, girl? So use any kind of foundation brush, or you can use a beauty blender. Entirely up to you. I like to use a brush. 
I have like a lot of spots like around my cheek area that I want to cover up and then the center of my eyebrows Honestly, everywhere, just be painting your face anyhow, just be painting it. And look at that shade match, like, that is perfect. You cannot tell me, it don't look good. Next would be concealers. Um, for my concealer, this has been my go-to concealer right now. You do not have to use this one. I want to make very clear that all the products that I mentioned in this video will be listed down below for your convenience. However, if you can find something that is cheaper, if there's a cheaper alternative, go for it, okay? It's all about the application. Obviously, the product matters as well and the quality of the product matters, but you don't need to be going to buy a freaking Dior um, concealer in order to get this look. You can definitely achieve the same look with drugstore products, so just grab your concealer. Um, just grab the concealer. This is the one that you're going to be using to cover up your dark spot and your under eye. Say like maybe two, three shades lighter than your skin. So let me just do the placement and then we'll talk about it after. So yeah, I've used my Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. And this is my go-to, okay? Um, yeah, this is shade 6. Did I already say that? And this is the placement, okay? We're gonna go ahead and blend it out. So we need like more of like a dense brush to blend it out. Let me drag this out a bit more down. Basically, I'm blending starting from the outer corner and then working my way into the middle. One thing that I do want to mention when it comes to finding your right concealer shade, I remember when I first started um, wearing makeup, I kind of just picked up anything else that I saw anyone else wearing. Like I said, do your research. Play around in concealers. Take advantage of Sephora's return policy, okay? If you feel like you go outside and it's a little bit too orange, go to the Sephora and get your money back and try again. You don't have to settle with um whatever you buy first maybe i'm speaking to my old self if there's anyone else out there like me i used to just like buy a bunch of products and they were just not for me like i was buying warm shades see like this is neutral before because i wanted to be a golden babe i thought i was a golden undertone i'm not a golden undertone and i'm definitely not a warm undertone it's okay to be neutral it's okay to be olive. I don't know why, um, as black people, we just automatically assume that we're warm sh shade. I, of course, I'm golden. I just assume, so, yeah, I'm golden. No, I'm actually a neutral undertone. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely look out for that. Try it out different um, undertones before you settle. As you can see, I didn't put as much product in my inner corner because I know I'm going to come back and add more concealer after my brighter concealer. Of course, blend it out so it's like seamless, but... You don't need to waste product there if you're going to be putting on another layer. Before I move on to anything else, I'm going to go back in with the same foundation brush that I used before. I'm just going to blend out all the harsh lines that you're seeing. Blend, 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 blend. Just be blending. Now that everything looks less harsh, I don't know, you tell me. Am I not making sense? If I'm not making sense, it's fine. But I think I'm making sense, yeah? Okay. So we've blended out all our concealer. I don't know where that accent came from before I move on to my next concealer color I'm actually gonna do my liquid blush yes I know initially when this liquid blush thing came around I didn't know what was going on I didn't understand why we were putting on blush twice but then when I tried it I finally understood so the reason why I even fell into the trap of liquid blushes to begin with me you guys already know I like comias I like simple things but then when I did try it and my makeup lasted like my blush lasted all night normally my blush phase and you know i only really pack my foundation but by putting out this layer this under layer or whatever it kind of like ensures that my blush is gonna stay on all night i just like the way it looked and i kind of use it to like underpaint in a way because my blush color that i'm gonna use is gonna be a pink so i'm probably gonna use the reds and the oranges underneath it works for me i like the way it looks um, sometimes I don't even have to wear blush. I love using liquids over powders um, But I didn't understand using both so sometimes I only use one and yeah If you don't know where to start when it comes to liquid blushes definitely start with the elf ones They're the cheapest ones out there. So this is the elf camo liquid blush. I have the shades um, pinky promise and gorge orange and then I also have the rare beauty that I got from as a gift grateful um, definitely when you are using liquid blush it is highly pigmented so please only use a tiny drop or dab on each cheek really i got the orange pink i could even add the red there to be extra since i can't decide <laughs> 
we're gonna mix it all why don't we look am i extra yes you don't have to do this but i like it i like it actually so let me blend out this liquid one and i'll show you another option which is like a hybrid of the two I placed it really high up and then just built, brought it down. Y'all seen the three little dots that I did? Do you see the pigment? Do you see the pigment? For those who need something simple. So this is the Danessa, Danessa Myrix Beauty. Um, golden Hour. This is their, it's like a, it's like a powder. It's a liquid to powder, I think. I don't know what they call it. But what it is, I kind of use it as a stamp when I'm really rushing. So I take um, a beauty blender that I only use for this, stamp it right in there, and put on the apples on my cheeks. So I'll just put a little bit because I know that I can fix it after. Look, see that? Oh my God, I look like Lunette. That's it. That's a lot easier. That's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. What did I do? I'm gonna let that sit for just a moment more. In the meantime, we can just quickly go over eyebrows. How you feeling? We'll conceal the eyebrows in a second as well. I'm just taking gummy wax a little bit on the back of my spoolie to tame my eyebrows. My, it's, it's looking so crazy right now. Do you guys trust me? If you're here, that means you trust me, as you should. So now that everything has sat down very well, I felt like it was getting a little bit too oily, so I just wanted to give it a second. Like I said, take your time, sweetheart, take your time. We're gonna go in with our brightening concealer. So yes, concealer again. Now this concealer, the other one I said is two to three shades lighter than your skin tone. This concealer that you pick up next, your brightening concealer, is four to five shades lighter than yourself, yes. But this is the raining, the raining hour. I just sniffed it because it smells like nail lacquer. But the Hourglass Concealer in this shade maple this is my favorite brightening concealer right now yes I hopped on the bag when I bad again I just don't like the fact that nobody's talking about how it smells like nail lacquer like dollar store nail polish which is fine which is fine I just don't know how that chemical smell is not penetrating into my skin a sign of the cross on the forehead so that God can bless me yeah me. I'm blessed and highly favor you want to give your um, concealer a little bit of time to dry down just so that it doesn't move around too much, okay? So I would say give it about a minute or two. So in that time, that's when I'm using my, um, that's when I'm choosing to carve out my eyebrows, okay? Now that I've given it a little bit of time to dry down, going in with that same brush, we're blending it out gently, oh, gently. Music licensing reimagined. Starting from the outer corner and working our way in. I'm also dragging it into the blush that we just put on. Just remember, we're kind of doing a sandwich with the concealer. So it's concealer, liquid blush, concealer sandwich now we're gonna do some a little bit of reverse contouring that's actually what i did on my face here before earlier i don't know if i mentioned that so when i put the concealer down there i was reverse contouring and we're gonna do some reverse contouring for my nose with this brightening concealer so i'm bringing it as close to the edge of my nose as possible right here and try not to go over that um line see i was about taking time je, 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 je. so again because we just blended out a concealer make sure you always go back and buff out the edges i'm trying to look at my foundation bronze once again and blend out all the harsh lines we're basically done with all our liquid products we are done with all our liquid products it's time to move on to the powders okay so setting powder the first thing you want to do is set your face all over like just set your face all over so i'm using the one size and you're going to use a shade that is close enough to your skin tone as possible they only really be having like three shades anyways so choose the deep one chocolate one whatever it is tap a little bit off essentially this is kind of like your translucent powder once again we're just mattifying our face and making sure that this makeup lasts okay finny finny this is the one size and deep now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and brighten with our setting powder. So I am using the Huda Beauty 
um, in the shade Blondie. This is their Easy Bake. Is it their Easy Bake? Yeah, Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in the shade Blondie. The KZ is just going to take your powder puff. This triangle powder puff you can find it on Amazon if you need me to link it down below. Babe, come on now. Come on now. I can't give you everything. Do your research. No. I'm joking. I'll link it. Just for you. But taking a, the one thing I don't like about this powder is that it takes like forever to come out. But you can just tap it on the back of your hand and I'm going to swirl it around. Again, um, just to be clear about my placement, I'm applying it to my inner corner and I'm... I'm dragging it down my nose here, reverse contouring again, and making sure to set, really get in those crevices of underneath your eye, because you don't want them to crease throughout the day at all, or throughout the night, wherever you're heading to, babe, just make sure you really get in there and dry it all out. And that is just for your under eye. This is the brightening part. And please, I'm using the shade Blondie, and I am very much a dark skin girl. I just want to make clear that don't use a translucent, don't use one of those setting powders like the deep one underneath your eye. You just did a whole bunch of brightening. The minute that you put one of those deeper um, setting powders on your eye, you're canceling ev out everything you did. I used to do that with the Laura Mercier Deep, which I will be using at the bottom of my face. But for my brightening part where I put concealer, use a brightening setting powder. I used to fight myself like, why am I looking one shade, one color, one color, one color? After all the work that I did, I look one color. I mean, I don't want to look like a masquerade, but damn. Our glasses are cheap. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier in the shade medium deep and I'm just gonna use it to reverse contour again. Underneath my chin cheekbone, drawing a line to create some kind of contour effect that I don't have, okay? I'm trying to create cheekbones. Um, if you ever see me with cheekbones on social media, it's a lie. Uh, this is where cheekbones are built. We're in the lab right now. Bringing it down here. But don't go and disgrace yourself. Well, make sure you brush this thing off when the time comes. <laughs> We're doing powder contour. So I like to use my Fenty Beauty. Um, this is their soft melt foundation, powder foundation. I'm using the shade 480. Um, I really just like to contour my nose and um, my cheeks so yeah I just take a little eyeshadow brush it's like a dense eyeshadow brush that you use for the crease it's by Morphe is the M55 I'm joking I don't know what it is but it's a this dense brush right here Artlist IO We're carving out our nose. Don't fight me because I want white people. I'm joking. I do not want a white people nose. I don't want a white people nose. I'm just, I'm just joking, bro. But I do want it to look a little bit more. I just want it to look kids. No, is it not kids? No want people to fight me into. You're trying to get Eurocentric features. No, babe, calm down. Anyhow, you bend the line like this, like you weren't steady. Your nose will be looking crooked. So be very, very, very precise about where you place this. If you make it super thin, it will be super thin. This illusion goes a very long way. I remember an example that they did one wave and somebody's nose looked wavy. If that doesn't tell you take your time, I don't know what will. Do you want your nose to be coming out wavy? I didn't think so. Use that same color. I don't know why I dropped it like that. Use that same color and we're contouring. Okay. Then I, once I start contouring, I use all the excess on this and I start blending out everything basically. Because that same brush. Ooh, you can literally see where I use the brush. Can you see it? Okay. Now 
it's basically time for what I call finishing touches. So this is your highlighter, your local beauty marks, your lip combo, which will come last. Your lip combo, um, mascara. I'm going to go over everything that I do. I'm not going to be able to go into detail about each and every single one, but I will explain on the screen as I do it. Okay, so starting off with our lip liner, yes, I am using an eyebrow pencil. It is kind of thick, but it does get the job done. There's not like the perfect medium brown, dark, whatever shade for my lips. So that's the one I use on the outline. Then I go in with MAC Chestnut. Um, for my lips, I kept it very simple. So after this, I just put on some lip gloss. Um, I put on a bit of highlighter. Yes, we still do a little bit of highlighter. Just on the nose, not too much. A little bit of pink blush. This is the one from Patrick Ta, my favorite blush right now. And then after that, I do a little bit of setting again. Um, this is just to like blend everything together. I'm using the shade 430 from Fenty Beauty. And then I'm going to go in and do some kind of like little eyeshadow look with the same shades that I use to contour. And this is my bronzer, my Fenty Beauty bronzer. You can use any like dark chocolate shade in your crease. And then use the lighter shade on your lid just to create like a little, a little, little cut crease. I don't know, a little something, something. But then, yeah, after that, I use some eyeliner to do my waterline. It gives a very sultry look, and I set it all with my setting spray. So that's the end of the makeup look. I'm so sorry that the end of the video, like, the last five minutes. As soon as I said, let's just start listening to music, the camera cut. And I just had to record on my phone. Hopefully, switching cameras didn't bother you guys too much. But, yeah, I will list all the products in the description box below. If there's anything you want me to break down in an individual video, also please let me know. A little soft glam, very, very soft glam. No shimmer, no nothing. I could add a little shine now. You know what? Let's just keep it. Let's just keep it calm for now. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Fine girl with stinky breath? No way. Bye.